Hi, you're watching Brioche Knit Tips. I'm Zandi from So I Make Stuff, and in this video, I'm going to show you the brioche left slanting decrease. This is what my swatch of the brioche left slanting decrease looks like. You can see here that I have my decrease, and it takes what is three stitches and makes them into one. These two stitches, the light one and the dark one in between are decreased. Now, in a pattern, it's going to look like this written out. And in a chart, you'll see this symbol. So that's it. Let's get started. Let's get started on our decreases. You can see that I've already set up a swatch in two color brioche with my light color facing me on a, on a knit row. I'm going to be using my light color for this and a contrasting color that's easy to see. I'm working just a plain stitch and if you have a pattern in mind, I recommend that you go from that and just begin your row as the pattern instructs you to do. Okay, so I've started my row and I'm working along in um, regular brioche. And before I go to do my, my decrease, I'm going to do a slip one yarn over. You're always going to want to do a slip one yarn over right before you do your shaping. I'm working the decrease over these next three stitches here. So you can see there are five wraps in total, but one, two, three stitches. Okay, let's go. To do a brioche left slanting decrease, on the knit row, I'm going to slip the first stitch in its wrap knit-wise. I'm going to knit the next two stitches together. That's three wraps. Two are dark and one is light. So knit those together. And then I'm going to pass the stitches that we slipped over it to create the decrease. And that's it. So I'm going to work a few rows to show you what it looks like once we get some space after it. So this is what my swatch looks like once I've worked a few rows. You can see that our decrease is right there. And it takes one light and the dark stitch in between and decreases them together. The left slanting part means that our right column crosses over the left and goes in the leftward direction. Okay, so that always confuses me a little bit, but just remember it's slanting, your right arm is going to the left direction. Okay, so that's the decrease. And if you want to learn more about brioche, make sure to follow up and watch the rest of my knit tips for brioche videos in my channel or just my plain knit tips videos to learn more about knitting and crafts. Bye.